So this next test is evaluating what we call perception span. Now we're best to think of our eyes like two video cameras and each video camera is constantly collecting both static and dynamic visual information. And your visual cortex is the brain's computer that's putting those static and dynamic images together in order to give us that 3D stereoscopic image that we talked about in the previous tests. Now perception span is a really important visual skill for paintball because this is going to analyse and assess how well we can see not just in the centre but also into that periphery as well. So when we're playing we need to be aware of uh, a opponents positions, obviously our teammates positions as well, so this test assesses how quickly you can visually acquire that critical information and make a motor movement based on that data. So if we switch over onto the big screen again, the idea of this test, as we said, it's going to give us a central target when it comes on and we're going to have a central point of reference and then around it we're going to have some cells which will be activated. So there's an element of peripheral vision but there's also an element of visual memory in this. So my target was here and I need to identify where the targets were. Now as we proceed they get more and more difficult and we can layer this test by actually reducing the speed at which they, they come on and go off. And if we go into the test proper now Again, that's our visual focus point. We need to identify where these targets are. And we can see now that as we progress, the fields are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is going to be stretching that perception out. Now, because we're in this increasing sort of digital age and everything's stuck on iPhones, computers, laptops, we sometimes get this perceptual narrowing thing. Whereas if we're in an office-based job, nine to five, we might find that we're stuck in front of this all the time. And obviously when we're playing paintball, we need to widen that perception out. So this is gonna help us to analyze how good somebody is at, at making sure their, their visual field is expanded. And as a lot of these visual skills are, this is a trainable thing. 